What's up guys? It's me Soji from Send Soji Solutions. So look, in today's video what we're going to talk about is how to evaluate a, a good marketing team. Alright? So, button this up. Sorry. <laughs> Try it again. Alright, look, the thing is is that you want to actually look at the people that are trying to work with you and then see what they have, right? So if you are, let's say, marketing for your business and you have to run those ads and those campaigns every day, then you it, it takes time from you doing the things you need to do, right? So find a marketing company and people who specialize in it, make sure they do a good job, make sure they're actually on top of their work. Now to evaluate a good one, make sure they actually have traffic themselves. See what I'm saying? So <clears throat> look at their Facebook, look at their Instagram, look at their LinkedIn, look at their social channels and see whether or not they actually have <sighs> good traffic. It's that simple. All right. That's, that's basically it. Just do your due diligence. Do your, do your research on the reviews and see what type of case studies they have. Look at their case studies, their white notes, uh, anything like that. And just provide it. Like, I mean, just seek it, ask them, question them, question where their traffic is coming from, question what directories they're going after, how they're getting their directories, what are they, how often are they updating you. They should be updating you if it's marketing every day. That's what I do. So Fridays, some, some marketing agencies they do on Fridays will update their clients on Fridays. But I would say you should have a marketing agency that updates you every day. So. If you're really trying to get customers for your business and you really want to actually uh, grow your business, because businesses are like sports, you know, you actually want to run it every day. If you're not on the offensive, you're not playing the game every day, you're kind of dead in the water. So make sure when you're looking for a marketing agency that they actually are working with you, updating the stuff every day, making sure that your systems are going. So that's the only way to do it. Because to give you a story that one of my clients had expressed to me, they had somebody from Berkshire, Berkshire Hathaway or something like that. Berkshire Hathaway was working with this marketing agency. And my client called me with them on the phone, three-waying me and saying, hey, you know, this company seems like they, they want to help and they can get me X number of views. So I simply just asked them, where are they getting their views? Like I said before, you know, where are they getting their traffic? The gentleman didn't know where they're getting their traffic from. So he was like, hey, it's just the company that um, we're partnering with, the Berkshire, ha Berkshire Hathaway representative. He was saying that they were working with another group. So I just asked them, what's the name of their group? He told me the name. I googled, researched everything, or everything on them, I pulled up everything on them, and if you're a marketing agency and you don't have a, a decent amount of following, at least, how are you going to actually market somebody else? It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. So, that's all I really wanted to share with you. This is a video to kind of give you an understanding of what metrics you, you need to be looking for to have the right team. Like, that's the only thing. So it's either you're going to do it every day for your business or you get somebody else to do it. And typically it costs thirty to $60,000 a year for anybody to do it for you. If you go and hire somebody off of LinkedIn or you go try to hire somebody else, uh, that's normally how much it's going to cost for somebody to manage and actually publish all your stuff consistently at, all year round. Yeah. So and sometimes it rain, it, it can actually get up higher because depending on the market that you're going after, the competition in the area locally, it, you might have to spend more money. And this is me just speaking to any business owner that's trying to run their business. That's normally what it's going to cost for you to do that. Like the base cost is as simple as that. Unless you're going to do it all yourself, which is you can do it all yourself. And it still costs a few thousand dollars because you have to pay for those tools. And then you got to set it up and you got to automate it. And you got to actually get some 
other tools to link with the tools. You got to learn how to do that. I mean, it, you can do it. And, you know, everybody's you know, like, if you're a business owner, you definitely, I would say, look into it, research everything that you're going to do for your, all your marketing channels, where your competition is going to market, um, where they are actually getting their customers. And then just talk to your marketing team or talk to the person that's helping you with it. That's as simple as that. You want to make sure they're helping you every day, working with you on this. And it's as simple as that. Uh, so I hope this video has been some help to you. And just if you liked it, leave a, a comment, like, and subscribe down below. And yeah, just if you're a business owner, share this with your friends. Share this with them. And if you need help with your business, you can always call us. Uh, our number is going to appear at the end of this video. <laughs> and yeah, we're always here, open 24-7, located right here in Florida. So I hope you guys have a great day. Join our community. It's also in the description. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me how you've experienced a marketing agency. Tell me what experiences you've had with um, a marketing company or a developer or whatever, any positive or negative experiences. I always like to hear those. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a good one. Talk to you later. Be safe.